Right guys, so I don't think I've ever actually shown any footage of underneath my um, Fiesta engine, but it's pretty much like um, an SR20 red top without the turbos, the red top or the Nissan. So as you can picture, it's looking a bit shit. So today I'm off to um, Tandy's breakers. They break 2002 to 2008 Ford Fiestas up in Stourbridge. And I've just seen a deal on um, a new rocket cover. So whilst my car's off the road, I'm just gonna make it pretty. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. So we're almost there now. Let's go get myself some scran. Thank you for that. No worries. Thank you. Okay, so like an absolute tool, I've turned up to the location without checking their website first and they've changed location. So I think they're like another couple of miles away from here. So let's get back at it. Cause the nigga needs his rocket cover, bruh. Here we are, I found it. Car part. So as you know, when you go clothes shopping, you always get something that you weren't bargain to get. This can't happen today. So I've got my rocket cover there and I've got a new exhaust manifold with a catalytic converter. That's for another project. So stay tuned. Now to go get some cutting discs. So before I actually leave the place, if you ever need any Mark 6 parts, 2002 to 2008, always recommend Tandy's. Wicked guys, really friendly. They'll hook you up good lads so definitely hit them up oh she pretty right so i finally got the rocket cover home there it is it's a um, bit of a mess so my plan is to clean it up with this engine by degree so i'm part cleaner and then sand it with this which is 600 grit sandpaper clean it again and then start doing light layers of this anodized purple um VHT spray. Right, so first I'm just gonna take off things that don't need to be sprayed and then just start whacking it with some degreaser, leave it to soak for a couple of seconds and then start wiping it off. I might have to do this a few times because this is really dirty. Alright, so this is as clean as I've got it so far. It's relatively clean, not massively. But I'm gonna start sanding it now and then do one more big clean and then should be ready to start dropping some paint on. Right then, so I've sanded it down, um, just let it to dry for a bit. I'm going to give it one more good clean with the degreaser and then should be ready to start painting. But um, I have tried to take these bolts out here, about all of these, but I can't, so I'm just going to mask them up. Right then, so one more clean up and a bit of a sand again. It's not too bad, I've got like, quite a good surface to paint onto. So the next thing is to try and mask around these and raise them up so I can paint the whole of the rocket cover and not get paint on the bolts. All right, so a bit of an update before I paint. These ones I decided to mask up because they are literally just sheer bolts. So I'm gonna leave them, because they're at the back anyway, so you won't see them. So I'm just gonna leave them. But because you're actually gonna see these ones, I'm gonna just spray over them. And then when I'm just talking them down, just probably have to be a bit more gentle with them. But other than that, I'm ready to start painting now. So I've got the VHT paint set up with this little handle that I brought from Halford. I think it was like five pound. Um, I've just also heated it up with the um, heat gun down there. So once the winds stop blowing, not the best conditions to be spraying in. I'm gonna start doing light coats all the way around. And then I might have to do like four, five, six layers. But I'm gonna just try and build up a nice smooth slope build up.
make that seven or eight layers. But so far you can automatically start seeing it come through. It's quite a dark shade at the moment, but a few more layers, it should be mint. All right, so that's it so far. It's pretty clean. Um, that's the third coat as well. So I might do three or four more as well as this. I didn't really intend on doing it, but I might go and clear coat it as well. So I'm just gonna see how the third and fourth coat goes. And then if that goes well, I might not clear coat it. So. Yeah, so a couple more coats, then we're done. All right then, so I've done five coats. That's what it's looking like so far. Okay, I guess, I think I'm just gonna use this until it's gone. And then after that's done, I've got some, it's not here, but I've got some VHT clear coat, which I'm just gonna do two or three more coats on. And then I can start putting the gaskets on and start getting it fitted. All right then, so the rock covers painted. I haven't put the clear coat on yet. I'm just gonna give it a few hours to dry. Um, it looks all right. It's very shiny as you can see from the reflection. I had a bit more paint left over, so I've got um, a Dorenzo oil um, drop can. So that's gonna be going in my car. I used the rest of the paint I had left, but I actually ran out. And there are a few runs, so I'll be sanding that back and doing it again. So I need to invest in some more paint. But other than that, I'm just waiting for that to dry and then dropping some clear coat on. All right, so whilst I'm literally waiting for the clear coat to dry on my rocker cover, this came from the post, which is um, like a heat, heat shielding tape. So if you look there, you'll see how grotty this is. And obviously I can't have a good looking engine bay with that looking good and that looking shite. So I'm just gonna try and cut all that off. See there's a few cable toys hanging on. So cut that, take it all the way down there and then start wrapping it with that and give it a bit of bling. Right, so I've finally finished. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't absolutely look amazing. It's probably with the door, so I probably will be doing it again. But it's over there now. That's my cam cover that I've got at the moment. I just I've already undone these because they're a pain in the ass. But I've just literally got to take all the plugs out and then undo all of the bolts around the outside, and then that should be ready to go on. But as well as that, I need to chuck this little gas gun, which weren't too bad. It was only like 11 pounds, so I'm gonna put that onto there then that should be ready to go into the... So I've got the cam cover off. I started to have a bit of a panic attack because I thought to do one bolt and I thought it was seized. So yeah, it's been a fanny. So that's the old one there. About to get the new one. Okay, so there's the new rock cover. I shouldn't have clear coated it because it looks dull as fuck now. So I will be respraying this in the near future. So. This is literally gonna go on the same way that I took it off, which is just 12 bolts. And I've got the new gasket on as well, put a bit of oil on it just to make sure I don't get any leaks. So it's time to fit that now. So like I said, um, the clear coat has made it look, um, not like just glossy and it hasn't really got the anodized look to it anymore. Plus I've got a few scratches there. So it gives me a reason to do it again, but for now it's a bit of a learning curve. Plus it's a bit more contrast in my engine bay, minus the battery. So, just, I'm gonna order some more paint and then do it again, minus the clear coat. All right, so finally got it all done. Cam covers aren't everything's bolted and torqued up as it needs to be. I use the bolt off that cam cover just because it's a bit more special. And I added the Jam Sports sticker because I heard it had to break horsepower. Um, last thing I do is literally just tighten up the bolts for that plastic bit there, and then it should all be ready to go. But I'd just like to say thanks to JL Automotive because he pretty much brought my car back to life because I was getting ready to break it for parts. So, yeah. All right, so just before I end the video, the anodized purple didn't really go to plan because I had scratches and it didn't look anything like that. So I went with red as well and um, added a bit of gold flake, which I think personally I quite like it now because it goes with like, my battery relocation and plus it's going to be a lot easier to find parts that are red than this color. So it's all mint. And if you're in the West Midlands and you need a spare rock cover, give me a shout because I've got a spare one. And thank you for watching.